Welcome to a video series intended to help support young adult peer mentors in the emerging and vital role that they have in the behavioral health and human services system. This video will discuss how young adult peer mentors use their lived experience with purpose and intent to promote self-care. Promoting self-care involves demonstrating resiliency and self-advocacy to encourage healthy habits with young adults. To help us learn how young adult peer mentors promote self-care, we have Tiffany, a young adult peer mentor, Ashley, a young adult accessing services, and Isabel, Tiffany's supervisor. Ashley experiences anxiety around going to school and taking tests. When Tiffany was younger, she experienced her own anxiety, and part of her self-care strategy was taking hikes in the woods. Tiffany knows that self-care is not one size fits all, so she is curious and says, Taking a hike in the woods always helped me feel calm when I felt stressed out by school. I wonder what things help you feel calm. Here, Tiffany shared her own experience and followed up by asking a question about Ashley's self-care strategies. Asking a question, rather than just making a suggestion, keeps the focus on the young person and helps Tiffany to avoid making an assumption. If Ashley is unable to identify any healthy self-care strategies, Tiffany will offer to work with her to explore possibilities, help her practice, and follow up with her to see how they worked. However, some young adults may have potentially harmful ways to deal with stress, such as using drugs or alcohol. As a young adult peer mentor, Tiffany takes a harm reduction approach. She discusses substance use in a non-judgmental manner with Ashley, and if applicable, she shares her own lived experience. Tiffany comes from a place of curiosity to understand how using drugs or alcohol work in Ashley's life. Meeting in a location that feels safe and comfortable for both Tiffany and Ashley helps them relax and can make their time together more productive. Tiffany knows that Ashley won't always be in locations that feel so comfortable, so they work together to identify coping skills to use during stressful meetings or situations, such as fidget toys or deep breathing exercises. Tiffany makes herself available to Ashley to debrief any stressful situations. For example, Tiffany helped Ashley think of some coping strategies for an upcoming test that she was anxious about and debriefed afterward to see how the strategies worked. While Ashley and Tiffany debriefed her test, she found that not only did the strategies work, but Ashley received an A on her exam. Tiffany knows that it's important to celebrate and acknowledge the accomplishments of the young adults she works with. Tiffany could say something like, You worked really hard on managing your stress. How does it feel to see it pay off with an A on the test? Another key aspect of promoting self-care is that Tiffany is aware of the rights and available resources for the young people she works with to navigate employment, school, housing, and other resources in the community. Because Ashley experiences anxiety around attending school and test taking, Tiffany offers to explore with Ashley her rights as a student to receive additional time taking tests and other study supports and helps to connect her with additional resources at school. Tiffany knows that young adult peer mentors, along with others in the behavioral health and human service field, are encouraged to develop a self-care action plan that takes into account her mental and physical health, professional development, emotional and spiritual health, and her relationships with friends and loved ones. Isabel knows that it is her role as a supervisor to promote on-the-job wellness for Tiffany. During supervision, Isabel will check in from time to time with Tiffany about how she is doing and how she is managing the challenges and stress of the job. If Tiffany feels comfortable, she can discuss her own self-care plan with Isabel, which can help Isabel support Tiffany to maintain her self-care at work. Practicing self-care is important for everyone working in the human service and behavioral health field. Tiffany, Ashley, and Isabel highlighted some key reminders of how young adult peer mentors promote self-care with the youth they work with and with themselves. To learn more about the Young Adult Peer Mentor Practice Profile and explore other resources, please visit the Children's Behavioral Health Knowledge Center at cbhknowledge.center. Thank you for watching.